Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I think I found everything that ever has been broken with Battlefield 4 ever. Now, you guys know that most of the time, I will give Battlefield 4 the benefit of the doubt when it comes to things like physics, and general appearances of certain things, and realism. I give them the benefit of the doubt, because Frostbite is really complex, but... That seems a little far-fetched there. Unless, unless that car is heavily weighted on its rear tires, it should not be able to balance like that. And then a few seconds later, of course, I got a little concerned because, you know, Hexbred just threw all of those physics out of the window and now he's driving on air. That's not an optical illusion, that's him driving on air. Now naturally, I told him to dance because maybe if he danced he would like somehow knock the entire game back into a set of physics that actually make physical sense but no he was just you know chilling dancing while floating in midair and I thought that was weird until later on in the match on the sea flag I thought the engineer had pink like underwear on but then I found out his core is pink like his in it's like a pinkish purple that is the core of his body and don't even try to give me anything like well you see Badger the the inside of the human body usually doesn't always have oxygenated blood which leaves a pink- No, that's like Jolly Rancher ch pink. That's like, not quite watermelon, but that is that is like cotton candy pink. Is that really what the inside of the engineer looks like? Don't ask me why I was trying to look up the engineer's rectum, alright? It's a long story, but that should not be that color, and this should not be this color! Why is he wearing like a purple ski jacket? Is that even allowed? Did he just say to his commanding officer, Yo, you know what? I'm gonna change up my outfit today. I don't care if it blends in with the terrain or not. And he tried to whisper something to me just before we exploded in a fiery hell. What did he... I, I, I couldn't really hear what he said, but that's almost as just outright annoying, alright? It's annoying when everybody else gets ski jackets and I don't, but the only thing more infuriating when other people get better apparel than you is when everybody steals everything from you. Look at this guy. Okay, you know what? Stealing a helicopter from me, that's not the biggest deal, alright? It's not a huge deal, because we all know what kind of pilot I am when it comes to helicopters. I get them into places they shouldn't be, and I should not be ever flying anything. I should never be behind the joystick of any sort of helicopter. But when you steal my motorcycle, it is a different thing, alright? Just like Tom Cruise in Oblivion, you don't do it. And it just so happens that after months and months of research and testing, I finally realize exactly how you can do the little jiggly backpack slash torso and thigh glitch. You know where he's like jiggling around like he, someone's trying to twerk but it's the opposite, like their, their ass doesn't move around at all, it's just like every other little body part? It's extremely awkward, alright? It's it, it makes me feel genuinely uncomfortable, but basically all you need to do is sprint into any surface where you stub your toe, or just sprint into any solid surface without moving. It's weird, alright? It's extremely weird. Not as weird as Siege of Shanghai, because I think we all know on Siege of Shanghai, People fly through the air like marionettes for no What are you doing, man? You're already dead, that's not necessary, and of course, Siege of Shanghai is even worse when you get to the parking structure. Not only people flying around, but Shrek. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. And I thought that was bad until I was on this rooftop with Hexbred, and I told him to dance. He said no, he told me to stop, but I told him he needs to dance because this rooftop is the best place to dance. And he, what is this wiggle? All, he turned into a worm. What is that wiggle all about? That is completely unnecessary. Why do you need to do that? What? Uh, uh, I don't understand. But one final little gift that I have for you is I would like to show you exactly how you want to start around on Dawnbreaker. So you take your jet, you smash into the AA, and what you do is it's not bad for your team. It makes a perfect ramp for the MRAP. Check out this stunt. With the explosion to boot. That is the coolest thing ever. Explosion!
And one final thing that I want to let you guys know is that tonight over on the stream, of course, we're going to be playing Battlefield 4, but between 10.30 and midnight Eastern Time, we're going to be playing some Planet Side 2, and I would love to see how many of you guys can join me. Planet Side 2 is a free-to-play game. It's completely free. You can register via link below, and you can download it on Steam, but I thought it would be hilarious to see, like, one to two hundred of you all join me, and we would just, like, zerg rush around like a, a swarm of bees and just overwhelm everybody. I think... If a group gets large enough, it would be hilarious if we all ran around together. So, like I said, it's free to register. You can download it on Steam below. I'll leave all the links and all of the information in the description. And if you get confused, you can just come out to the stream. I'll also leave that link down below. Hope to see you guys there so that we can kill some Confederate scum. Shout